Marks, firefighter of the Rochester Fire Department, here with my fellow firefighter, Grant Eckhoff. We're here today to tell you about what it's like to be a firefighter. Join us for tips and tricks on how to practice fire safety. Here in the city of Rochester, we have five different fire stations available to respond 24-7, 365 days a year. Each crew that works at the fire stations is made up of three different firefighters. The fire station is our home for the day. We eat, sleep, train, and exercise here. We work 24-hour shifts from 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. the next day. Here on the Rochester Fire Department, we have six engines and two trucks. Let me take you through a tour of what one of our engines look like. So here specifically at station one, we have two engines and one truck here. This is engine 16. Engine 16 has over 600 gallons of water on it. The engines are what we use to put water out. So they have a bunch of hoses on top of them that we can pull off. And they're also full of equipment. They're basically one giant toolbox from front to end. So that's the engine. The truck doesn't carry any water on it, but what it has instead is a giant ladder on top. Truck 12 here has a 107 foot tall ladder that we can deploy to make rescues out of really tall buildings or actually fight fire from a top down view. Truck 12 also has a bunch of smaller ladders and it also carries a lot of our chainsaws and axes and our ropes. And it also acts as a giant toolbox for us. So it carries a ton of equipment. You never know what you're gonna need. As you can see, this is what we look like when we're fully dressed in all our gear. As you can see, there's no skin showing anywhere on Firefighter Grant. That's because when we go into smoky environments, we wanna make sure that there's no heat that can get to our skin so we get burned. As you can see, he's breathing through this. This is clean air. If he turns around this air pad, this is what holds the clean air that we breathe when we go into smoky environments. Now, if he stands still for a second, or if he's not moving, you start to hear an alarm that goes off. So we'll wait for a second until that happens. That's what tells us there's a downed firefighter so we can go rescue them in case something happens. Here's the start of the alarm. It's gonna start to get louder. So this is what a full firefighter looks like when they're dressed like this. And also remember, if you see one of us come into your house, don't be scared, this is how we look. Here is your standard smoke alarm. Every home should have a smoke alarm at every single level and also inside the bedroom. Smoke alarms are important because they're your first notification if there's a fire in your house because smoke goes in these and then it makes the alarm sound and it will sound like this. If you hear a smoke alarm go off in your home, make sure that you follow your home escape plan that you have created with your family and get out of the house immediately. In the case that your home does catch on fire, make sure that you and your family have a home escape plan in place and that you know what your home escape plan requires you to do. Make sure that you know how to get out of every single room in your house. Make sure you also have a meeting place outside of your house, such as a mailbox or the neighbor's house that you trust or a street light outside on the corner. Make sure that you can see the house numbers from the street on your house so that the fire department can find it when we get there. It's also really good if you can memorize your address so that when you call 911 and they ask for it, you can give it to them quickly. It's extra important to make sure that you have an escape plan for every room that you sleep in, so all of your bedrooms. It's important that you keep your bedroom door closed at night so that fire doesn't get into your room while you're sleeping if it does occur at night. Make sure that you practice your home escape plan at least twice a year with your entire family. If you find yourself needing to call for an emergency, make sure you know how to use your phone or your house phone to call 911. Remember, 911 is only used for emergencies such as your house is on fire or somebody in your family is having a major medical emergency. If you have a phone, you can always pull up the little phone icon, put 911 in, and then click the green call button. Stay away from hot things. If you ever find matches or lighters anywhere, please give them to an adult immediately. If you ever get burned, put it under cold water right away. It is important to establish kid-free zones in your home with your parents. These zones should include places where there's a stove, oven, space heaters, or any electrical equipment in your home that could burn you or could potentially be dangerous. Kid-free zones are important for your safety. If your clothing ever catches on fire, the first thing you need to do is stop, drop, 
and then roll until the fire is out. First, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna drop, cover my face, and then roll back and forth until all the fire on my clothing is out. Thank you for watching and learning more about the Rochester Fire Department and what we do as firefighters here in Rochester. Make sure you go home and talk to your parents about your fire safety that you learned today and make sure that your home escape plan is in place.